Everyone, yes, another case of contenders football, a full case break. Pick your team number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Get settled in, folks. It's going to be another long one, but we should be pulling some really nice hits. This, this stuff is starting to warm up really nicely. Um, Saturday, last break night of the year, contenders football. Good luck, folks. EA Sports is in the game. Last spot mojo, my Raiders. All right. There will be a recap video at the end of this break. So be sure to look out for that if you're watching the replay. If you're watching live, you're just stuck with me. All right. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Contenders football, really nice release. As always, you're getting five autographs a box out of here, which is also great. Now, they're, they're not all going to be Mitch Trubisky autographs or Christian McCaffrey autographs, but, but that's the chase. That's part of the hunt. All right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for getting in. I appreciate everybody's support uh, over not only this year, but over the years. I know we have a, lot, so a few longtime regulars here in the chat. You know who you are. I appreciate everybody um, sticking with us and supporting Jaspies over the years. You've, I'm sure you've seen great amounts of growth um, over the years, and that's definitely, you guys are definitely a big part of that. Guys and girls are definitely a big part of that. For everybody who's new to Jaspies Hobbyland, hopefully you'll become uh, like a lot of our longtime regulars as well. So thank you. Really appreciate that. I think it's a good time for reflection here at the at the end of the year. We'll be back in a couple days. We'll be going to uh, come back on Tuesday. Now remember, since Monday, uh, well actually, since there's a number of people out of town from Team Jaspies, Boss Man's out of town, Nick Jaspies out of town, Mrs. Boss Man's out of town. So. Um, they are still checking customer service type stuff on the on the email, jazbeeshobbyland at gmail.com. So they're on vacation, so you can expect uh, some slight delays than usual on reply, so I appreciate everyone's understanding on that. Same with the shipping. So we're kind of running with a small crew at the end of the year here, and I know that we've done a lot of these like super long, base-heavy kind of breaks. And with the uh, with post service not delivering on like Monday, you can all you can expect at least a couple days or so, uh, longer than usual for um, for sorting and shipping and all that. Um, so everything that we did yesterday and today probably won't start won't start getting be start getting be sorted. Won't start to be sorted until Tuesday. Um, so keep that in mind. I, I'm getting tired. It's been a long week, a long busy week. All right, but we're gonna end strong. Rookie of the Year contender, Joe Mixon out of 25. We'll start us off with the Bengals. Rick with that insert. So good luck to everybody on this one. Obviously, the base cards don't ship. That will be a left-right randomizer, as most of you know by now. And we're going to start off with a bolt. Austin Eckler for the Chargers. Todd B with that one. Nice charger. So in the interest of time, I'm going to try to go a little bit more quickly than we have before, but this will still take a solid hour, so just be prepared. Championship ticket to 99, Jamal Charles. Nice. Uh, this is Broncos edition of Jamal Charles. That's a weird edition to me. Eric Rager with the Broncos opposite Joe Mojo. Sometimes those round numbered cards are serial numbered. If you see me miss a serial numbered card, don't worry, during the sorting and shipping process, return of the Mac. During the sorting and shipping process, they'll catch it. I kind of have to say it every time there's a Mac. Mac Hollins, on card, rookie ticket autograph, going to the Fly Eagles Fly. Greg D with that one. Nice Marshawn Lattimore, probably your defensive rookie of the year. 
Saints, that'll go to Chris. Nice, Chris. That's Urban in the chat. We've got next autograph is Marquez White. I don't think I've seen a Marquez White yet. That goes to the Cowboys. That'll be for James Scheisler. James got himself a, a 5 out of 5 Ezekiel Elliott autograph out of Contenders a couple cases ago. It's pretty nice. And David and Yoku. Oh. That'll ship, but I thought that was going to be something especial. That's that. I think we got shorted an autograph. One, two, three, four. Um, five autographs per box on average is what they say. I guess that was a below average box. All right, next up. Good luck, boys and girls. All right, previous case we talked about. Uh, we talked about. If you watch the entire video, you'll hear some discussion about what teams we felt like overperformed, performed over expectations in the NFL, and performed under expectations in the NFL. We went through all that. I think there. I think everyone pretty much was a consensus on that. My Raiders definitely performing under expectations. But I think they'll be fine. They'll bounce back next season. Now, coming up, let's, let's talk about some Week 17 matchups since we have a lot of time. We can really dive into the Week 17 matchups, which are always difficult because what teams are motivated? What teams aren't? You know, some teams have resting a lot of players. Some teams aren't, you know, like you never know what's going to happen. Never know what's going to happen. So let's talk about some of the games. We'll start off with uh, Cincinnati. We're on Cincinnati. Cincinnati to Baltimore. Cincinnati at Baltimore. The Ravens are minus nine, according to the Westgate Superbook. What do you think on that game, folks? Let's discuss that. I, I know. Bengals-Ravens matchup. We're all excited to talk about this. I know that moves the needle for you. We've got some uh, uh, Ravens fans here, though. Um, Ravens minus nine. Against the spread, who do you take? We're, all, we're always going to be talking against the spread when it comes to things like this. What do you think? Bengals, maybe they want to finish the season off on a high note, maybe. Ravens want that playoff spot. All right. I'm speaking of the Bengals, there's Josh Malone for the Bengals. That'll be for Rick. Rick with an autograph. DZ, what's going on? Next autograph is Vince Bagel. Mm, bagels. Packers going to Sam Roll. Sam with an early autograph. Playoff ticket, Devontae Adams at a 249 for Sam. It could be the end of the Red Rocket era, Kyle Kramer. This is another one for Sam. Could be end of a, a end of the, the coach there as well. Could be end of a, end of a lot of eras. But I think I'm taking the TJ's taking the Ravens. I'm taking the Ravens, too. There's Jeremy McNichols, 
on-card autograph, rookie ticket on-card auto for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Sam as well. And there's, wow, I didn't think that was going to be an autograph. Six out of 25, veteran ticket, cracked ice, on card auto, Marcus Mariota. Woo! Woo! Brad Richardson with the Titans. Woo! That is hot. Wow. These cases, each case is better, uh, seemingly better than the last. That is strong. Hi, Ali. This is uh, Pick Your Team 4. Pick Your Team 4. Wow. I didn't think that was going to be... I mean, this deserves the wooden train whistle. Nice one for Brad Richardson. That is strong. Well, there's usually one or two vet autos per case. Rookie ticket auto, Derek Rivers. Uh, no relation to Philip. That'll go to the Pats. That'll be for Karen. Uh, I think the Cowboys have been snapped up uh, in this, or obviously this break, but in the next break, break five, we'll be posting some more contenders over the weekend. So contenders five won't be, uh, won't break until next week though, next Tuesday. Amir Abdullah. Cracked Ice, veteran ticket autograph, 3 out of 25. Right on the card as well. Fear Amir for Greg D. And the Detroit Lions, cat team mojo. I guess that makes up for the below average box that we saw before. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Makes up for the below average. Nice. Next box. Good luck. Yeah, I do too, actually, Rory. I think Pick Your Teams would work nicely with contenders, too. Um, yes, sir, Greg. This is Pick Your Team number four. So that cracked ice, Amir Abdullah, was for you. Congrats. Um, yeah, Rory, I agree. I think I think random teams would do nicely on this. I think once the, um, once the initial rush for Pick Your Team starts to slow down a little bit, which I'm sure it will over the next week or two, once that slows down a little bit, then we'll, then we'll introduce... Um, then we'll introduce some, uh, like random teams to kind of spice things up. Maybe at maybe smaller box configurations. Too. All right, uh, next game. So everyone, everyone uh, thinking uh, Detroit. Uh, I'm sorry, Baltimore. For you, Greg. Someone tell Greg it's it's for him. Three out of twenty-five. Amir Abdullah, veteran, uh, veteran ticket, cracked ice, on-card autograph for. It's you. Congrats. All right. So, anyhow, next next game. Green Bay at Detroit. Green Bay at Detroit. Does, do either of those teams have anything to play for? I don't think so, right? 
Uh, the Lions are minus seven. They're at home. They're minus seven. Who do you take? I don't know who I'd take. If I had to, if I had to bet this game, I wouldn't. <laughs> Our mics is pick them. Am I right? Coin flip, right? I don't know what's gonna happen in this game. Who's gonna be like lazy? Who's not? You know, who's gonna? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. There's no motivation for any of these teams to play hard. Take the under on this. What's the over? The over under is, according to Westgate, 44. Maybe take the under. Or maybe people get lazy and throw uh, throw interceptions, throw pick sixes. I have no idea. <laughs> it's in Detroit. Yeah, Rory's saying take Detroit. Green Bay's out of it. Isn't Aren't the Lions out of it, too? I guess I'll give the edge to Detroit. I don't know, minus seven though. Maybe maybe the Lions will win, but by but over seven points. That that might be the might be the difficult part. Or Mike still taking Detroit though, laying the points. Okay. Next box. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Any guesses? And it's Jake Butt. He's a tight end. Nice Jake Butt. That'll be for the Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo for Eric. Eric Rager. Uh, R. Mike guessing Kareem Hunt. Rory guessing another Wayne Gallman. Another Wayne Gallman for Ryan. Or Jamal Williams. We got legendary contenders, Michael Vick. That is number to 199 for the Falcons. That'll be for Jason McKee. There's we got a Jason McKee in here and a Jason McGee. Here, I gotta I gotta tell the shipping team to keep an eye out for that. There'll probably be points in here at some point, ladies and gentlemen. So if that happens, then um, we'll be taking all the points as one lot and randomizing to one person in the break. It's winner take all on points here at Jaspie's Hobbyland. Uh, Mike Glennon, 50 out of 99, Mike Glennon, Bears, that'll be for Colin. Our Darius Stewart, on-card rookie ticket autograph. Royal, yeah, I don't think Royal for Speed wants any more Wayne Gallmans. Cracked ice, Wayne Gallman. Rory, I was teasing Ryan and saying I was teasing Royal for Speed and saying uh, because he has like three Wayne Gallmans now. Um, I was teasing him saying like I want to pull him a one of one Wayne Gallman so he'll be forced to make the entire rainbow. It'll be, it'll be like now it's like on principle you just have to make the rainbow of Wayne Gallman <laughs> and hope that he becomes like a big star. <laughs> Matthew Day's rookie ticket autograph for the Browns. That'll be for Ronald. D'Angelo Henderson, rookie ticket autograph for the Broncos. Broncos, that'll be for Eric Rager and the Broncos. We've got Austin Carr. I don't think any, no relation to Derek. Austin Carr, this is Saints edition. He was traded to the Saints. That'll go to Chris Masoner. Got a couple autographs under the belt. All right, it's gonna be DZ got it. Bragging rights for DZ McFats. Jamal Williams, rookie ticket variation RPS. For the Packers, that goes to Sam. Sam Roll with the Packers. Sam Roll. On a roll. All right. 
bragging rights to using that. Next game. Buffalo Bills at Miami Dolphins. Buffalo is minus two and a half. They are road favorites. Minus two and a half. Who do you take? You gotta take the Bills, right? I think they're actually playing for something. Don't the Bills have like a small outside chance? Bills are minus two and a half. Rory says Buffalo. I think that's who I would take too. Oh, here's a great game. This is this is a game worth discussing. DZ McFats also saying Buffalo. Here's a game worth talking about. So does our Mike 23. So consensus Buffalo. I say Buffalo as well. Carolina Panthers at the Atlanta Falcons. So the Panthers going into the the Mercedes Benz Dome, which actually looks like a cool stadium to go to. I think they play soccer in there too, right? I think Atlanta FC. Also had a nice season for you MLS fans. Um, Carolina at Atlanta. Atlanta's minus four though, Rory. Do you still take Atlanta minus four? Carolina's looking good. Atlanta is minus four. Rory, even minus four, Rory says, yeah, I'm taking I'm taking the Falcons. What's their, what is their, what's the Falcons' playoff situation? I think they got a, they got a win and they're in? Is that what it is? No, they already have a, no, they're already in, right? Oh, the Seahawks could get in. I see. So the Seahawks could snatch their spot. So the Panthers are safe. The Saints are safe. The Rams are safe, right? But the it's it Falcon Seahawks could slip in. I see. So yeah, so I'm taking yeah. You got to, you got to take the in, in a game like that. You got to take the Falcons, right? You know you know the Panthers may 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 take take the foot off the gas just a little bit. So Atlanta minus four. You take Atlanta minus four. All right. What about Saints at Tampa Bay? New Orleans at Tampa Bay. Saints are road favorites, according to Westgate. Minus six. Minus six. Saints are minus six, road favorites. Uh, both teams have nothing to play for, except for pride. All right, next box. Playoff ticket, Jarvis Landry out of 249. 143 out of 249 for the Dolphins. That'll be for Ronald. Ronald Held. Another redemption coming up. Any guesses? There's draft day autograph, Carlos Henderson. Nice. Draft class auto. 13 out of 199. Oppo Joe Mojo. Broncos, Eric Rager. Ah. Tora saying Panthers are still playing for the division and a home game as well. Oh, okay. So maybe that does make a difference. I think I would... I think I would still give the edge to the Falcons, though, at minus four, at home. Marshawn Lattimore, another autograph. For the possible defensive player of the year, rookie defensive player of the year. Another one for Chris Masoner and the Saints. Nolens.
Ben Boulwer. Playoff ticket autograph. 66 out of 99. 66 out of 96. Or 96 out of 99. <laughs> I think it's out of 99. Uh, that goes to the Panthers, Jason McGee. And we've got Raheem Mostert. That goes to the Niners. James with the Niners. Nice. Thanks, Ellie. Ellie taking two in Chronicles. Devontae Mays for the Packers and Sam. Nice, Sam. Sam racking up the Packers in this one. Jamal Adams, Rookie of the Year, Contenders, out of 199. Goes to the Jets, that'll be for Greg D. And the redemption is, yes. Rookie Roundup Autographs, Gold RPS, Wayne Gallman. For the New York Football Giants, what's that gold number two, Royal for Speed? Gallman, Gallman everywhere, not an Evan in sight. Gold is... Gold is 25 or less. 25 or less, according to CardboardConnection.com. <laughs> yeah, the Goldman PC is complete, says Ryan. I mean, listen, he didn't have a bad season. It's just that, yeah, I get it. I mean, you know, maybe you want to... Maybe an Evan Ingram's slipped in there somewhere. All right. Oh yeah, I'm excited for Ryan. I mean, now that now that now that this trend is, is happening, at this point, I'm just like, well, we we may as well just get him all the Gallmans, as many Gallmans as possible at this point, and then hope that he becomes like you know, the, the bell cow back for the Giants next year. I think he can catch the ball at the backfield, too. He might, could be like some sort of Matt Forte kind of, kind of character. We'll hope. Ryan and I are hoping that he's become some sort of Matt Forte type of character. All right, next game. So uh, there were no thoughts on, on New Orleans, Tampa Bay. Saints minus six, road favorites. Sure, I'll go with the favorites. Saints minus six. Jacksonville at Tennessee. The Jaguars at uh, Tennessee. Tennessee minus two and a half. Minus two and a half. I think the Jaguars have this one. I think the Jaguars are going on the road and win. EA says Titans. I don't know. Isn't Mariota banged up a little bit, Eric? A little ankle issue, perhaps? Something's not quite clicking there, at least in recent games. I think the Jaguars are going to try to get back on track. My apologies, Eric. I'm going to have to go with the, with the Jags on this one. You can laugh at us if the Titans win next week. Um, here's an interesting one. I guess he's always banged up, MBTR is saying. Oh, you're going to the game. Nice, Eric. It's going to be a high of 25 degrees. That's chilly. It's not that chilly in Jacksonville. 
Maybe weather will have something, something to do with it. I like this game. I'll tell you who I'm taking. I'm taking the Jets. The Jets are in New England at the Fox. Patriots are minus 15. Just like the temperature where Rory lives. Um, in Wisconsin. Uh, Patriots are minus 15. I'm taking the Jets. I would take the Jets. Deonta Foreman. Nice. Playoff ticket autograph. Six out of ten. Six out of ten for Jameson Long and the Texans. Nice. Jabril Peppers. Rookie ticket autograph, Jabril Peppers. That's a hot hit. It's a spicy hit. Going to Ronald Held and the Browns. Tom, Br I thought it was going to be an autograph. Tom Brady, I don't think he has autos in this. 31 out of 249. Tom Brady playoff ticket. Patriots, that'll be for Karen and the Pats. So no no thoughts on the Jets Patriots game? I'm taking the Patriots plus fifteen. Jets have been covering Jets Jets' record against the spread has been pretty good. I don't know. I hate betting uh, Week 17, though. Week, week 17 games are just are wacky. You never know what's going to happen. We've got Raheem Mostert, or Mostert. That goes to the Niners. James, with that autograph, second one. Rory says New England. Mm. Rory's laying the points. Minus 15 is a lot, Rory. There's some points. If there's more, we'll combine them all into one. We'll randomize them as one lot. Winner take all points in the randomizer at the end. Dan Bailey, autograph? Autograph, nice, veteran. That's three veteran ticket autos. Two of them were cracked ice. Veteran ticket autograph, Dan Bailey. That's nice for James Scheisler and I think his Cowboys. I think he's a Cowboys fan. Nice. All right. There we go. Next box coming up. Ah, Steel Curtain. Well, you have a. Well, before you go, Steel Curtain. What's, what's your take? Cleveland at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's minus six and a half. Let, let's do one more game for Seal Curtin, who's a big uh, Steelers fan, obviously, Michael Gallucci. But thank you for your support, Michael. I appreciate you joining us this year, buying into all of our breaks, et cetera, et cetera. I think the Cleveland Browns are, are still terrible. They're terrible in real life. And I think they're terrible. I think we got shorted an autograph again. I think we did. Maybe there'll be another above average box. Um, I think that uh, the, the Cleveland Browns have been terrible against the spread, and they've been terrible in real life. <laughs> Steel Curtain says, I'll never bet on my Steel. That's a good point. You can never bet on your own team. Um, so you'll take the points with the Browns. <laughs> I don't know if the Browns will win. I, maybe they might get an under six and a half, but I don't think they're going to win. They'll still lose. I thought they might win win with the line. All right, so there you go. Thank you for your support all uh, year long. Steel Curtain, Michael Gallucci. Thank you very much, man. Have a happy new year. I'll see you on Tuesday. That's true. No Big Ben, no Le'Veon Bell. No. Oh, that's true. They're resting a lot of guys. 
I don't know, but what if uh, what if the Jets look like they're gonna start winning? You know what I mean? Because that has that has uh, like home field implications, right? If the Jets look like they're gonna win, you think the Steelers kind of turn up the heat again? Uh, it'll be interesting. That's why Week 17 terrible. Um, oh, what's that, Rory? Ownership stake possibly part of the Gruden deal. Try to lure him in. Who? For the Raiders? For us? For me? My team? I mean, I'll take the deal. Yeah. Come on, Gruden. Mr. Gruden, Coach Gruden, if you're listening, come back to the Raiders. You can come home. Take us to the promised land. A lot has changed in the organization. <laughs> yeah, our mic's like, week 17 is like a bye week for gamblers. Yeah, I don't like any of these games. These picks are for fun, by the way. I don't want anyone taking these picks seriously. That's my disclaimer. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. Someone's going to be like, yeah, my 18-year-old kid went on Bovada dropped a $500 bet listening to you knuckleheads and I'll be like, ah, ah, come on. <laughs> we're not we're not professional handicappers here. <laughs> this is all for fun. Josh Jones autograph. Another Packer for Sam. I don't think he's awake. Sam, well, good morning, Sam. Here are your Packer, here are more Packers hits for you. Where do we leave off? Houston? At Indianapolis, oh, that's an exciting game. Uh, Colts minus five and a half. Gun to your head, who do you pick? Nice playoff ticket. Autograph, Jalen Merrick, 23 out of 49. That's cool. It's a nice looking one. Haven't seen one of him yet. Mark with that one. Happy New Year, Mark, with the Jaguars. Thanks for all of your support over the years. Rory says Indianapolis, minus five and a half. I, yeah, I guess I'd have to default to home team on that one, right? I mean, who's, yeah, who's throwing for, who's throwing for the, uh, for the, the Texans, right? Ooh, our mic says Texans, but don't, don't the Texans have, oh, Sam is still here. All right. There you are. Hi, Sam. Got some nice Packers autographs in there. Rake, racking up the hits. There is Cason uh, Williams playoff ticket autograph. 10 out of 99. I don't think we've seen him yet. That goes to the Browns. Ronald Held with the Cleveland Browns. And Earl, that Earl Campbell obviously goes to the Titans, of course. That'll be for uh, Brad. Yeah, they've got some like ninth string quarterback for Houston. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going Colts. I mean, I wouldn't, I'd pass on that game, but yeah, I'd, I'd gun to my head. I'd, I'd, I'd go Colts. Melvin Gordon, that looks nice. 207 out of 249. That goes to the Chargers, Todd B. It's going well, man. A little tired, Sam. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm getting toward the end of the night, the end of the week, end of the year. So... We're getting, I'm getting to, to exhaustion point, but I think we still have a couple breaks that we're fighting for that we might be able to do before we call it. Did we do it? We did it. Evan Ingram, rookie ticket, on-card autograph for Royal for Speed. It only took four cases. It only took however many boxes these, these have been. <laughs> 36 plus however many we've done so far. Rookie ticket autograph, Evan Ingram, one of the lone bright spots for the New York football giants. There it is, Evan Ingram. Royal four speed, Ryan. Finally, persistence paying off. That's what it takes sometimes, folks. Can't just be a one and done, like so many college basketball players. Got to give it a, a, a few a few tries, a few college tries. All right, we've got rookie ticket, Jared Evans for the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly for Greg. 
Now, now for more Gallmans for the rest of your contenders breaks. <laughs> All right, we are marching along, getting closer and closer. It looks like that Chronicles only has one left. Okay, excellent. So after, right after this break will be, right after this break will be uh, Leaf Metal Baseball. That's a guaranteed hit break. It's only a two box break, so that'll be done pretty quickly. Um, and after that, we'll do Chronicles Baseball. And then after that, I don't know what we're going to be able to do after that. We may be able to, we'll probably be able to squeeze in one more break. What is everyone thinking? Flawless baseball, maybe. That's a that's a good possibility. Flawless baseball. We've got about another thirty minutes in this break. 25, 30 minutes in this break. So we'll still have plenty of time. All right, next game. Um, Ryan wants to roam in a science for that Evan Inger. I know, right? Uh, what about? Oh, this here's another great matchup. The Redskins at the Giants. Redskins at Giants. Redskins are road favorites, minus three and a half. Oh, the over under at 40. It's <laughs> pretty low. Redskins, I guess. Her cousin's playing for playing for a big contract, maybe? Or maybe Evan Ingram goes off. I don't know. I guess I, I lean Redskins. And what about what about Chicago, the Bears at Minnesota, the Vikings are. Home favorites, minus 12. Anyone brave enough to take the Bears? Minnesota minus 12, anyone brave enough to take the Bears? That would be a brave move. We've got rookie ticket, Josh Woodrum. Our Mike says Bears. Rory says Minnesota. Our Mike's brave. We've got round number 67 out of 99. That'll be a randomizer between the Juice and Evan Ingram. Look at this. What's what's this coming up here, Royal for Speed, Ryan? What is this? NFL Inc. Wow. Sterling Shepard. 37 out of 99. That pairs nicely with your Evan Ingram autograph. There you go, Ryan. We've got Alex Anzalone, another one for Chris and the Saints. Looks like there's a cracked ice, like a, it looks like a non-auto cracked ice coming up. And it's going to be a Buccaneer. Season ticket cracked ice, Mike Evans. Four out of 25. Nice one for Sam and the Buccaneers. That's a good-looking cracked ice.
Redemption, any guesses? For bragging rights? Guess away, folks. Sterling Shepard's no slouch, though. You're welcome, Sam. Playoff ticket, autograph for the Titans now. Four out of 99, Zach Pascal. Brad Richardson and the Titans. Gallman? Wayne Gallman? I say Wayne Gallman. It's James Conner, rookie ticket variation RPS. James Conner for the Steelers, Michael Gallucci. I was hoping it would be another Wayne Gallman, but alas, no. <laughs> nice, nice break so far. What's, what's the next game? Cowboys. Cowboys traveling to Philadelphia. Cowboys are minus three. They are road favorites. Cowboys minus three in Philadelphia. I think Philadelphia is resting a lot of guys. I think the Cowboys want to end the season strong. What's up, Kip? What's going on, man? And, um... You know, Zeke Elliott probably wants to finish off the season strong. It looks like Chronicles is full. Excellent. Thanks, Urban. Thanks, Chris. We'll get to that after um, after this break and then the Leaf Metal Draft. Yeah, Ben D also saying that Cowboys win. I think I think so. I think I think Zeke Elliott wants to finish the season strong. So does Dak Prescott. I think. I think, like my Raiders, I think the Cowboys had a bit of a down season. We want to finish strong. Now that Kip is here, Kip's a Ravens guy. Um, Kip, what do you think? Bengals at Baltimore, Cincinnati at Baltimore, your Ravens are minus nine. Who would you take? Even though you're a Ravens fan, you really shouldn't bet on your team, but if you did. Nice, just got your tickets. Think they'll win? Uh, I think they'll I think they'll win, but minus nine. Oh, Kip says win by three. Ellie also says Ravens. By but by over nine though? The line is Ravens minus nine. Which is a healthy amount of points for the uh, for the Bengals. True, true. Division games are tough since he is playing the spoiler. All right, so a little, little extra info from, uh, from our, our Baltimore correspondent, Kip Kip Hooray. Chris Carson, rookie ticket autograph. That goes to the Seahawks. Who's with the Seahawks? Um, no, I think Chronicles was, was down a lot. May need to refresh your page, Urban. You can double check what you purchased because we send you a email confirmation of of uh, whatever you purchased, your receipt. I get the same email. That's how I check your orders as well. The, uh, if you don't see one, it's probably in your spam folder. So double check that, and you'll see exactly what you purchased. Le'Veon Bell championship ticket out of ninety nine, eighty eight. Out of 99. Kip saying that the Ravens can lose and still get in the playoffs if the Bills or Titans lose as well. I see.
All right. Um, oh, what about this? My Oakland Raiders in L.A. playing the Chargers. They're here. Tickets are expensive. I don't think I'm going to go to the game. T.J. Watt out of 99, 36 out of 99, Rookie of the Year contenders. Um, Chargers are minus 7. They're home favorites. Chargers minus 7. Raiders, weird season for them. Just didn't quite get things going. Some injuries got in the way, and then bad performances got in the way. There's Kenny G. Kenny G for the Lions. That'll go to Greg D. There you go, Greg. Little some sexy hits right here. Rory picking a team that doesn't exist. I don't know if the, I don't I don't know if Vegas will let you play that. <laughs> you know what I say that I still say that all the time, even though they. They play in our backyard. I always say San Diego. I still say San Diego. Another points card. That'll be combined with that one. Uh, yeah, and the LA charge just sounds weird, doesn't it? Kim saying Chargers need this game. They are going full speed. I'll, I'll have to use your argument, Kip, and say that divisional games are always tough. And the Oakland Raiders have a chance to play spoiler. Jake Butt, he's a tight end. Nice. For Eric Rager. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the Chargers are gonna win by seven. Or over seven, that is. So I'll make a classic wagering error and bet with my heart. And if I were to bet this game, I probably would. Um going Raiders. The public loves the Raiders. Going Raiders, you know. There's Tyson Hill for the Saints, Saints edition. He got traded. Yeah, I'm going Raiders. Chargers have nothing. It'll be a Raiders. It, it'll be half the stadium will be Raiders anyway. It'll be like a Raiders home game. In fact, that line should be minus four. It's a Raiders home game. Yeah, and Chargers are a bunch of chokers anyway. Yeah. Thanks, Kip. Exactly. Another nice box. Yeah, boo. R Mike 23 is like, no, they don't. Come on. R I'm a Raiders guy. Yeah, they do. Chargers are weak. Boo. Philip Rivers sucks. <laughs> Five INTs for Philip Rivers. Boo. <laughs> See, this is why I shouldn't bet on my Raiders. Because that's what gets in my head. This is why you don't bet on your own team, folks. Emotion. Emotion gets in, in the way. And you're like, Pfft. especially when you're playing a rival. Get out of here, Chargers. Terrible. Melvin who? Keenan Allen what? Keenan Allen's having a great season too. Keenan Allen on that Raiders secondary. Terrifying. Yeah, but the Raiders. I'm taking the Raiders. Don't listen to me. Um, Seahawks fan. I know we have some Seahawks fans here. Well, I still... Uh, we'll get to that game in a second. Uh, William Hummel. Well, will I still like the Raiders when they moved to Vegas. Guess what, William? The Las Vegas Raiders will be at least an hour and a half closer to me than the Oakland Raiders. So ironically, geographically, by moving out of state, they will be closer to me. Yeah, I'll still like the Raiders. Now, if the Raiders move to, like, Texas, you know, if they move, like, far away, I, I don't think I'd be, I don't, I don't think I'd just be a free agent at that point. But yeah, no, the move to Vegas, I think, was if they had to move, LA obviously first choice, Vegas would be second choice. Uh, I was in Vegas over over Christmas visiting my sister. Yeah, if it was St. Louis Raiders, no way. <laughs> um, nothing against St. Louis, but it's just like, that's far away. Um, but uh, we, I drove by the, the state, I kind of, I blinked and missed it, but uh, they did break ground, but... It's really just kind of in, in pretty uh, nondescript business park area. It's across the street from Crazy Horse 3. If 
for you people who know that area. I mean, it's a family show, but, you know. Um, but it's right across the street from there, and I think it's just in a big empty lot, and there's like a big billboard that was out there. It was like, that had something to do with the Raiders or something like that, so. It was at night, so I didn't really see any of the construction going on, but it's starting. Austin Carr, I think they broke ground in November. Austin Carr with the Saints. That'll be for Chris. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a dome. I don't think it's going to be a dome. So it'll be brutally hot early in the season. But I think as the season goes on, the weather should be perfectly fine. Uh, Vince Beagle, Packers. That'll go to Sam Roll. Uh, there were actually like two Marshawn Lattimore autographs. And a couple other Saints, too. Oh, <laughs> you always have to double check to see if you're, uh, you're live. All right, Aaron Jones, rookie ticket autograph. That's <laughs> Ryan's like, as a... Um, as a Chiefs guy, Ryan Royal for Speed is saying, if the Raiders went to St. Louis, that'd be perfect. I already despise that city and the Cardinals. So there you go. Any guesses? Come on, Kip. You know football. You know who he is. Vince who? Are you telling me you don't know who Vince Beagle is? Of the Packers? Rookie for the Packers? Standout rookie for the Packers? Did you know... Kip, in case you didn't know, because I thought you were a football fan, but 2017, he became the 18th Wisconsin player drafted by the Packers. And first since Jared Abedarius started 40 games and tied a school record by playing in 54 contests, entered the NFL ranked number seven in Badgers history with two 21 and a half sacks, four-time academic All-Big Ten selection. Duh. Kip. Knowledge. Brandon Cooks to 99. No, to 249. Yeah, that that Vince. Come on, Kip. Kip's a football guy. I know he's a football guy. Come on now. MVP contenders. Julio. Julio Jones out of 199. That goes to the Falcons. Jason McKee. All right, so we got some guesses. Um, Rory saying Kareem Hunt. William saying sweet Kareems are made of these. R Ryan saying there's his other Gallman. Urban Legend, who has the Saints, wants a Camara Platinum Draft Class Redemption. Kevin Crouch saying Jamal Williams. There's Josh Reynolds for the Rams. Championship ticket autograph, 22 out of 49. Nice one for the Rams. That'll be Derek Slavic. Next autograph is Geronimo. That goes to the Packers. Sam with that. Oh, he's... he's Spent most of the year at Vince Bagel. Spent most of the year on IR. Duh, kid. Didn't you know? Spent most of the year on IR. T.J. Watt, rookie ticket autograph. Steelers, Michael Gallucci. I think he is four for four. We did four cases. There's been a TJ Watt in each case. It's four for four on, on TJ Watts. Everyone was wrong. Three boxes to go. Looks like we are 
We have uh, three spots left on Flawlesses, Jaden. Wow, nice. Well, good, great. And I think we, and then Chronicles, uh, Chronicles Baseball is sold out as well. So we'll do that. Um, so this break will, will finish up closer to the top of the hour. I am definitely running out of steam. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave it all out on the breaking table, the breaking field. But we'll uh, we'll definitely do Leaf Metal Draft, then we'll do Chronicles Baseball, then I'm sure Flawless Baseball will happen. And then, um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do after that. We might have time for maybe one more break. So we'll, we'll kind of gauge that time as we get closer to there. It's been a long and busy week, folks. I appreciate everybody for all the support keeping me busy. All right, last few games. Arizona, Seattle. Arizona, the Cardinals are at Seattle. And the Seahawks are minus eight and a half. The Seahawks just have to dominate, right? Like, they're, they're going to win by like 12, 14 points, right? What does everyone think? Cardinals at Seahawks. Seahawks are minus eight and a half. Oh, nice. Kevin, going to the Colts Texans game tomorrow. Well, you wish you had a Jaspi shirt. Well, you should let us know. Are you going to be sitting where there's going to be a camera on you? Anybody who sits behind a field goal post at a football game, let me know. We'll send you Jaspi's Hobbyland t shirts. You, you got to get on camera, though. If you get on camera, maybe we'll send you some break credit. How about that? We'll do that next year. Rory says Seattle. Kevin Crouch says Seattle. I think I'm going to go Seattle Seahawks as well. All right. Almost there. Deshaun Watson, is that an autograph? Wow, it is, it is. Deshaun Watson, rookie ticket on card autograph. The horizontal edition. Nice. That goes to Landon. No, I'm sorry, Jameson Long. I think Landon had in the last break. Jameson Long with the Houston Texans. That is strong. Long. Great hit. Congrats, man. He'll be back. He'll be fine. Marshawn Lynch, beast mode. 13 out of 99. Championship ticket. That'll go to Eric Ange, EA Sports with my Raiders. Danell Pumphrey, rookie ticket auto for the Eagles. That'll be for Greg. Ben saying, Ben D saying, speaking of the speaking of Deshaun Watson, is Clemson gonna win college football playoff? I say no. I don't watch a lot of college football. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. But I say no because I think, in general, it's probably hard to repeat, right? And there's no Deshaun Watson, or Mike Williams, or Wayne Gallman. Rookie ticket, Kendrick Bourne. Bourne identity going to James Scheisler. James S with that one. Mr. S. Eighteen out of ninety-nine. Another randomizer between Trent Taylor and Isaiah McKenzie. Kevin Crouch says yes. Clemson will win. Our Mike says yes. Clemson will. So we'll see what I. I don't know anything. College football. College football wise. Playoff ticket. Playoffs. Arthur Motes. Four out of ninety-nine. Michael Gallucci moted. William Hummel says roll tide.
What about Oklahoma? Yes. Go Oklahoma. Jalen Myrick. My aunt went to Oklahoma, so... By default, I think I have to support them. College football-wise. Um, or sports, I guess. Or any UC. UCLA. I went to UC San Diego. No sports there. Um, that Jaguars auto will go to Mark. There you go, Mark. Nice. Deshaun Watson as well. All right. Two boxes to go. We're going to open up both of these at the same time to finish fast and strong. Last two games, Kansas City at Denver. Chiefs at Denver. Chiefs starting Patrick Mahomes and the Denver Broncos starting starting to look forward to the end of the season. Hey -o. It's not like my Raiders did any better this season. Um, Denver's minus four and a half. There's two more games to go. Denver's minus two and a half. See how I planned it out for the last two boxes? KC. Chiefs at Denver. Denver minus four and a half. Casey's resting players playing Patrick Mahomes still wins, says Kevin Crouch. Rory also concurs. He says KC as well. Yeah. Well, Ryan, what do you think? Where's Royal for speed? He's a Chiefs guy. Let's get his insight. Let's get his uh, his insight here. I'm leading Kansas City as well. I, I, just, I, think, I think the Broncos are just like, eh. Let's go. Let's put the season behind us. Let's go play golf. Urban Legend asking if there's any cracked ice in this case. You really, you really were lagging behind. You missed a lot of the break. Oh man, there will be a recap at the end, so keep an eye out, Chris. Keep an eye out. Our mics is Denver. Laying the minus four and a half. Anyone else? Any any other thoughts? You missed almost the entire break. Yeah, there. Well, you'll see. I'll show you in a second after the after these two boxes. Chiefs always donkeys going down. Says says Royal for speed. Eric says KC. We want to keep that sixth overall pick. All right. I'm leading Kansas City. I'm definitely leading Kansas City. That D against the rookie QB? That D has not been... That D has not been the D that we know in Denver. It's like a lowercase D. Not, not the emphatic capital D that they usually bring. All right. See, the problem is emotions. Being an AFC West guy, being a Raiders guy, I think I definitely, I think I definitely hate the Broncos far more than I do the Chiefs. So I don't know how Ryan feels about the Raiders, but I, I think, I think, uh, I want to say I think most of the AFC West probably can collectively, no one likes each other, right? But I, I think we can all get together on disliking. The, the, the Broncos the most. <laughs> All right, last game. San Francisco at Rams. San Francisco at Rams. In LA. The, uh, the Niners with the resurgent, the resurgent Niners with Jimmy Garoppolo at the helm is minus four. There are minus four. They're road favorites in Los Angeles. Oh, I'm sure Denver feels the same way, Eric. Yeah, Roy, Ryan's also, as a Chiefs fan, Ryan is saying, yeah, agreed. So much hate for the Broncos. Yeah, I think the Rams are resting everybody, right? 
and Jimmy Garoppolo is like wants to show off. I would too. Yeah, I, I would go Niners here. I mean, they're, they're, the Rams are literally resting everybody. I think Gurley isn't going to play. Goff isn't going to play. I don't think Aaron Donald is going to play on the defense side of, side of things. Cody Wise saying that the Browns will go 0-16. Hey, listen. Cody Wise, I'll tell, I'll tell you. Going 0-16 is hard. Going defeated is hard. It's just as hard to go 16-0 and as it is to go 0 and 16. It's the truth. Because every dog has its day, right? Uh, you know, even on your worst worst day, the, someone always beats a team they're not supposed to beat. You know, someone beats a team they're always not supposed to beat. Something like that happens. Or some team loses to a team they're never supposed to lose to. It's hard to go defeated. It's hard to go undefeated. 0 and 16, that's an accomplishment for the Browns. That's what I say. Alvin Kamara. Well, there you go. Nice Alvin Kamara for the Saints. Chris, that is Urban in the chat. We've got Jay Cutler, 80 out of 249. There you go. Appreciate you getting back into the breaks. That's an on-card Camara too. Lights Camara action. Right, Kip. Kip's right. Hugh Jackson will be 1 in 31, and yet we'll still be coding with... Hugh Jackson must have some dirt on somebody. Ooh, I feel the cold, cold metal of a plate. I feel the cool, cold metal of a plate. There it is. And it's going to be for the Saints. That's Alex Anzalone. Or Anzalone. That goes to Urban Legend 3, Chris Masoner with the Saints. And an all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop! There's usually a plate per case. That's at least we've been lucky enough to see a plate per case. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't care who it is. The plate plates are always cool to me. Rookie ticket autograph, Victor Bolden Jr. Going to the Niners. Yeah, this had there. There's there's some more saints too. You'll you'll see in the recap. Nazir Jones for Cruz and the Seahawks. And Ryan, I think I. I like your first two teams that you dislike in order. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Uh, ben, yes, Kareem Hunt cards, I think he started off the season hot, hobby-wise, and cooled off when the when the Chiefs themselves cooled off. But I think he's, uh, he's heating back up again. And especially with the playoffs coming up, that could be interesting. If he blows up in the playoffs, that could be a lot of added value there. Charles Harris for the Dolphins. Dolphins autograph. That'll go to Ronald Held. Uh, they might. I could see them going running back in the draft for the Colts, that is, after Gore. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. 
we've got Jacob Hollister. That's where he shops too. Hollister. Hollister, that's where he shops. All right. Well, no Matt Breida so far, but there's been plenty of Victor Bolden Juniors in this case. That goes to the Niners and James. Oh, see, Kip's thinking, someone else mentioned this earlier too, Kip. I think TJ said this earlier, that they're going to go QB. Because, I know TJ didn't say they were lying about luck, but I, 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 I think it's pretty, you know, I mean, I, they might need an insurance. But someone also said then, you know, Brissette should be fine. So, yeah, no, we don't do shout outs here. Another points to add to that points collection. Definitely lying about luck, huh? Well, I mean, I thought it was very concerning that uh, luck will be back this season. Now he'll be back in a few weeks. Oh, he might come in the middle of the season. He's gonna, he'll play a few games at the end of the season. Nothing, right? And now, in that recent press conference that he had, right, Andrew Luck, well, now what happens is you're just like, oh, there's, nice, Kenny G, on-card autograph with the Lions, Greg, with that one. Then he's talking about, yeah, I probably will be back at the beginning of next season. It's like, probably. I probably won't need to have a second surgery. Probably. Like, what is that? You know what I mean? Like, that does, that does not, if I'm a Colts fan, that does not give me any, yeah, that pressure was awkward, right? K Crouch is saying, yeah, Kip's like, maybe not lying, but definitely downplaying. Oh, absolutely. Because it was that pressure that, that really, that really made me concerned. It wasn't like Andrew Luck's going like, you know what? Yeah, this season was touch and go. That's what happened. We never really knew, but next season, I'm solid, 100% by next season. Trust me, I'll have a, I'll have a, a whole off season off. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You know, last season, I understand. It's touch and go. I don't know. You know, let's let's figure out how the shoulder works, you know, after the surgery. But now, that, that press conference may, makes you a little nervous. Whoa! This does not make me nervous. 10 out of 49, Kenny G and Cooper Cup. Two sexy hits. Two autographs, one cup. <laughs> it's a family show. 10 out of 49, so a nice randomizer here between the Lions, Greg, and the Rams, Derek Slavic. Well, well, well. This case still delivering the fire. The fuego. I don't know if that's probably not the correct way to say it. Isaiah Crowell, feed the crow, playoff ticket. You think Panini laughs when they have to put Browns guys on playoff ticket cards? Out of 249 for the Browns. I think the Browns are actually a lot closer to being better than people may think. Um, Ronald with the Browns. And we are done. Ooh, we made it. The next few breaks will be a lot easier. All right, let's see who gets what. So we got a number of randomizers to set up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need six blank lists. Yeah, nowhere to go but up for the Browns, right? So let's go and get some dice. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Thank you, Jaden, yes. Oh, I did. I definitely forgot about the recap. Left, right, especially when like there's like a bigger hit at the end. I totally lose track of everything. Um, first, Niners and Broncos. We'll do all these little randomizers. Next one was Broncos, Titans. Next one was Bucks and New York Football Giants. 
Next is the Lions Rams dual auto. And everyone has a shot at the points. One person, winner takes all points. All right, let's roll the dice. Randomize all the lists three and a six nine times. Nine times, three and a six. Good luck, everybody. Left, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Left side, we'll get those. So all the left side teams will get the round numbers cards. We've got this one, Trent Taylor and Isaiah McKenzie. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Broncos get it. Oppo Joe Mojo going to Eric Rager. There you go, Eric. Nice little randomizer at the end. Broncos and Titans. So Broncos involved again in a randomizer. Broncos, Titans, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Flips to the Titans this time. That goes to Brad Richardson. Who had that nice Mariota early in the break. We'll show you that in the recap. Uh, round numbers. First round. O.J. Howard, Evan Ingram. 67 out of 99. Both tight ends. Nine times. Bucks, Giants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Flips to the Buccaneers. That'll go to Sam. Sam with the Buccaneers. The dual autograph. Well, actually, we'll do. Let's do these first. Winner take all on the points. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Name on top after nine times is EA Sports. It's in the game with Last Spot Mojo. You had my Raiders. Did I did not give you any Raider Joe Mojo? But some points. There you go. At least we collected all the points together. All right, last but not least, here we go. 10 out of 49, round three numbers. That's actually not bad for third round receivers, right? Especially Cooper Cup. Kenny G could be somebody too. That could be nice. All right, once again, for the final randomizer, three and a six, nine times. Lions, Rams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Stays with the Los Angeles Rams, Derek Slavic. I don't think you got any Rams. Maybe you did. I think Josh Reynolds maybe earlier. But now you have the dual autograph as well, thanks to Cooper Cup. Sorry, throwing it around. I've got hands like Amari Cooper. And there you have it, folks. Joe for I'm tired too. Thanks, everybody. Joe for Hobbyland.com. Another big break at the end of the year. We're finishing strong, folks. 2017 Contenders, pick your team four in the books. Thanks very much, everyone. Appreciate your support. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.